Hello everyone, I'm Tinashe and I'm so excited to be here today with Save the Music to teach you guys how to use these amazing Reese's Puffs boxes. And they have on the back of them the chocolatey based synth, they have the creamy lead synth, and they have the crunchy drum machine. So that is really, really awesome because all you need is this cereal box and we're going to create a beat today. You need all three cereal boxes if you want to make a full beat and you also need your phone so that you can get on the app and you can produce it. I'm going to teach you how to do that today but first I just want to say thank you so much to Save the Music for having me. It's always been a pleasure and a passion of mine to encourage young people to get involved in the production side of music. Save the Music is also really awesome because they bring music to school and I think that that is something that I always wanted even more of when I was growing up uh, a way to be able to be involved in music programs at school I played the violin and I also you know did like orchestra and things like that I really started making my own music in my bedroom I taught myself how to record produce make my own videos I've always been a fan of not waiting around for someone to teach you how to do something, taking it upon yourself to, you know, go forward in creating whatever you want to create and whatever art inspires you. So I think that these are really amazing because they allow you to do just that. If you don't have expensive, crazy equipment, all you need are these cereal boxes and you're able to produce something really, really amazing. So... I'm going to teach you how to do that today. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, so first things first. You need a bunch of Reese's Puffs. <laughs> That's like the first thing you need. So open up the box, get yourself like a bowl or a cup of Reese's Puffs. We want to start with the drum machine. We want to start with the drums. I think when you're making music and producing a beat, it's always easiest to start with the drums. So you get the rhythm, you get the beat. And then from there, you can kind of go crazy. Okay, so anyways, all I have to do is scan the side of the box. It's gonna take me to puffsfx.com. You grab the puffs and you're gonna place them on these tracks. Each, you know, square that you place the puff in is gonna determine the sound that comes out of the crunchy FX drum machine. Okay, I like that. I like those sounds. Sound pack four. We're gonna go with sound pack four. So I want to change the tempo of this song. So I'm gonna go to that little, I guess, music note, press it, and then it's gonna take me to the tempo. Uh, let's do like 90, 96. That's always like a fun West Coast kind of tempo. All right, so now based on where we place these puffs, obviously we can change the drum pattern. So I'm gonna mix these up a little bit. All right, I'm like liking how this sounds. So I'm gonna press this little lock button on the right here. So once we have that drum locked in, we are going to lock in the chocolatey based synth. So I grab my synth box and I am going to do the same thing, but this is going to be a different instrument, obviously. I like to start with just kind of experimenting with wherever they go and just kind of catching a vibe because I don't know what these instruments sound like necessarily and I don't know you know like the melody that each of these notes is going to create so i kind of just experiment at first and then i kind of excavate the beat out of that 
When I make a beat, I always just am experimenting. I never have really have like a plan going in necessarily. It's just like whatever feels good, whatever feels right. It's ready to go again. Alright, that sounds pretty good, and that was an accident, so see? You just never know what's gonna happen. So lock it in. So once I get that, now I have to add one more instrument, and that's gonna be the creamy FX lead. We're gonna do the same thing. Just gonna grab all these puffs and place them in a little random little order, whatever just feels right. Trust your instincts. That's how I make music. I just trust my instincts. Feels right, go with it. Oops, I think that fell off. All right, last instrument. Let's see what this guy sounds like. All right, let me solo this track because it's pretty busy. That sounds pretty cool. Solo it one more time. Alright, let's lock it in. Alright, I locked it in. Alright. I pretty much made a song. Wow, that's amazing. That is so sick. Okay, that was that was great. We made that song in like 25 minutes. Listen to that. So now you can play it. Now you can write your lyrics. Put it in the booth. That song is like, gives some vibes. It's a little like rock. It's a little hip hop. It's, it's fun. So that's pretty cool that I was able to make it just on these boxes. Oh, I'm losing puffs. So you got to be careful where you, where you place the puffs because they're, they roll around. My creative process looks different every time that I go in to create something new. I think that's kind of the beauty of the creative process is it's not all just one formula. Sometimes when you're feeling a different way, a different day, you may go or you may approach the creative process differently. Um, a lot of times for me, the melodies come first. I think about how I want the song to sound. I think about the melodies. I think of the feeling that I want to invoke, um, the story that I want to tell. And then after that, the words and the lyrics and the specifics of how everything sounds, the nuance, and even like a lot of elements of the beat. A lot of times those come afterwards. It's important to kind of have an understanding of your best creative process and that comes with just a lot of practicing and trying new things and working different ways. But I think that process can change all the time. You know, I've worked in sessions where we've come up with a concept first or we've come up with lyrics first. Sometimes even maybe I have an idea in my head for a lyric or a concept that I've wanted to write for a long time. Maybe I'll just write down like a title and I'll start there and use that as kind of the tipping point for the creative process. A lot of times when I get in the room, it's just based on solely how I feel that day. I'm like, you know, I feel like, you know, I, I have that energy today. I want to make a banger. Or some days I'm like, I'm feeling really emotional. I want to write something that's a little bit more in my feels. So I think it's all about tuning in and tapping into what really sparks your creativity and your inspiration that day. I think following that 
is when you get the best song. In my experience, when you don't force the creative process, that's when you get the best song. Um, if you're trying too hard to write it to find a word or a lyric or, you know, you're trying to finesse the beat somehow to make it sound perfect and you can't figure a part out, you should leave it. Come back to it. Don't worry about writer's block. Don't ever, you know, like give in to the frustrations of writer's block. Just move on to a new idea. Start something fresh. Um, I think following that fresh energy when you feel inspired is, is the key. And if you're not feeling inspired, step away. You don't ever have to force yourself to create, and that's the awesome thing about creativity. And also, on the flip side of that, when you are feeling creative and you are like on a roll, you're on fire, you're creating really great stuff, you can keep that momentum going as well. You can use that to kind of feed into other songs or to inspire you to create other things. Like maybe I've made one song and it's, oh, it's giving me this great idea of like, okay, I really want to make something that is in response to that or something that kind of follows that um, something that's based on that energy but maybe is a little bit more refined or is a little bit more emotional so I think sometimes the process inspires more of the process you kind of just have to go with that flow and yeah trust your instincts and trust your gut so yeah my creative process is different all the time I a lot of times start with my melodies, I get in the booth, I sing a little bit, I freestyle. A lot of times those aren't necessarily lyrics per se, those are just like vibes and, and things that I'm feeling and then kind of after that I kind of excavate the lyrics and revisit the beat and the instrumentation and decide, okay, we need a little bit more of this feeling, we need more of this feeling. Um, and that's like a really fun part of the creative process is kind of to excavate it and, and see how it all comes together. So I enjoy working with other people. I enjoy collaboration. I like writing to just chords. Sometimes it's as simple as writing to just some chords. Sometimes it's a full beat. Sometimes it's just a drum pattern. So you know whatever kind of inspires you to keep going on that creative process that's what you should do. But a lot of the time when I'm writing I don't even have like an entirely fully 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 fleshed out idea that I'm writing to it's usually like a piece or a loop or just like one chord or a vibe a mood and that really kind of inspires how everything else comes together it's really awesome that I'm able to teach you guys from my home studio which is where I record all my music I actually just recorded my new album 333 here so if you haven't heard that, make sure that you guys go stream my new album, 333. It's such an amazing representation of where I've been creatively in the past year and a little bit more. Um, I think during lockdown, I was really able to get really into my creative process and really focus on that and focus on creating really amazing art that was inspiring and felt electrifying and energetic and new and so I hope that I can continue to inspire and be a part of creating great music and sharing it with my fans in ways like this. So thanks to Save the Music and that's really sick that we can give kids the opportunity to learn how to make these beats at home. So I want to see a lot of you guys make some beats with your Reese's Puff Boxes. I want to hear your songs. So if you make a banger Tag me, like, let me know, send a comment. I want to hear all of your hits. Don't be afraid ever to go after your dream. Don't be afraid ever to not, you know, figure out how to create your art. If you feel compelled and inspired to pursue music and to make that your passion and your career, then more power to you. You can do it if you focus. You can teach yourself. You can get your hands on something like this and create something dope. Don't ever let your circumstances or anything stop you. I believe in you, and I can't wait to see what you guys all do. I have a prize. I'm auctioning off this amazing oh, RP Pro, which is even like a step even further than the cereal boxes. This is like heavy duty equipment. So I'm going to sign one of these and I'm going to do an auction to give it away on September 14th. So make sure that you guys look for that on the website for Save the Music. And yeah, make your own track and post it with hashtag PuffsFX. 
that's the tag I'll be looking at to see all your beats. So I hope that I taught you guys how to make something dope today. That was really fun. Um, that was really sick to be able to make something that quickly and that dope. So yeah, see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.